Let h be a subgroup of g such that the index of h and g is 2, and we have to prove that h is a normal subgroup of g. So this funny inequality sign here, this means subgroup. And the index of h and g, this is the number of cosets. So for us to say that it's equal to 2 means that there are two cosets of h and g. And we want to prove that h is normal in g. So recall that h is normal in g means uh, that the right cosets are equal to the left cosets. So in other words, the set of right cosets is equal to the set of left cosets. Let's go ahead and start the proof. So proof. So we'll start with our assumption um, that the index of h and g is 2. So suppose that the index of h and g is equal to 2. Okay, This means that uh, g has two right cosets. So let's write them down. So then the right cosets, right cosets are... Well, one of them is h. That's one of the cosets. You, you can also think of h as he. So that's one of the cosets. And since the cosets partition g, their union has to be equal to g, and it has to be disjoint. So the other coset is g set minus h, right? Because if you take the union of these two guys, uh, you get g. So then the left cosets, then the left cosets, are, well, as before, one of them is h, so that would be eh. And again, since the cosets actually partition g, that means that their union is g and the union is disjoint, the other left coset has to be g set minus h. Well, look at that. The right cosets are equal to the left cosets. So thus, the right cosets, right cosets, are equal to the left cosets, are equal to the left cosets. And intuitively, that's what it means for h to be normal in g. So therefore, h is normal in g. And so why are normal subgroups important? Uh, whenever you have normality, the set of coset, cosets, which is g mod h, actually turns into a group. So its elements are actually cosets, uh, which is kind of cool. I hope that made sense.